Hi! Today we are going to add interactions to a landing page to make it more engaging. We'll be using PineGrow Interactions, a Greensock powered visual editor for web interactions. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to easily add engaging interactions to your websites without any coding. I've developed a demo landing page for a mobile app called Booklers. We are going to add content reveal effects, a sleek parallax scroll effect, and a custom mouse move interaction to various elements on the page. If you wish, you can download the web page and follow along with the tutorial. The link is provided in the video description. Before adding animations, it is best to plan what type of animations you should apply to the elements. I'll add a reveal or fade in effect to most of the content like heading, text, and buttons, like on the left of the hero section. For the two hero images, I'm going to apply scroll interaction so these images move in the opposite direction of my scrolling. And third, I'll show you how easy it is to implement an advanced custom interaction like animation on cursor movement. So let's get started. I have my project opened up already. You can see that the page itself is done and what is left is to add interactions. If you are new to the PineGrow web editor, on the right side of the web editor we have a panel for adding interactions. You can click on the interactions tab and you can see that the interactions have been added to the select element or we can add new interactions to that element. Currently this project doesn't have any interactions. That's why we see the activate interactions button. Click on it to add the required resources to the project. Let's select an element on the page, for example, the main heading. The interaction panel now displays the interaction actions for the selected element. The top part shows the actions that are already added to the element. It's empty now. The bottom part displays the list of all available interaction actions that we can add to the element. Interaction is used to animate the element when a certain event happens, for example, when the element is clicked. Scroll scene is used to animate the content when the element is scrolled in and out of the view. Hide at start hides the element when the page loads. For example, in the reveal effect, we will hide the content at first and then display when page load completes. Show at start shows the element when the page loads so that we can then hide it with the animation. Smooth scroll makes the mouse wheel scrolling more natural. Apply to many copies the interaction from the selected element to other elements. It lets us define interactions on one element and then reuse them on others. We'll go through all of these actions in this and follow-up tutorials. Okay. We're good to go.